I delayed my trip by a day so that I could get some rest, but uh, <laughs> I didn't rest. I uh, spent the day playing games and then the afternoon I put up a storm door for my parents. Well, I'm uh, just getting started with this road trip and uh, decided to stop off and get a little bit of a workout. It's the last time I'll have a chance to really seriously use workout equipment this week and uh, also a good opportunity for me to get a little cleaned up before I start my trip. But uh, ran into a thunderstorm. The trip's already starting off a bit like last year except this one's actually here. That looks pretty cool. There's a moon. the fifth year of the BWL road trip. We're kicking off this year with a return to Acon for Acon 24. You'll remember if you watched last year's video, Acon is moving. I'm really looking forward to see what they come up with. I'm really looking forward to see what, uh, what can be done. I'm excited about this trip. noticeable advantages to coming out here at the very start of the season or fairly early spring break even sometimes is better but especially now uh, because in May is when they officially start the summer season so everything is building up to that uh, you can tell just by looking a lot of the rides like the Love Bora has got fresh paint on it uh, also Despite having been fairly hot so far uh, this May, temperature today is really nice. And there's a, even though there's a lot of wind, it's a cool wind. It makes it, you know, fun just to be here and, and not, not even riding rides, but just to walk around the park and look at everything, you know. Plus, since school's still on and that sort of thing, there's a lot less people to contend with. As I understand it, uh, the winds today in particular are interfering with a lot of the rides. Uh, even rides like Superman Tower of Power are not running right now, and it's because of this wind. Uh, there's been a few thunderstorms, you know, the ones that we, or that I uh, <laughs> drove through on the way up here. There's a lot of wind blowing right now, a lot of gusts, really strong ones. So. So I just picked up my season pass at the Processing Center. Uh, at the very least I can say I had a better picture than last year. But I actually picked up a couple of new options. Um, if you recall, uh, back in 2009 in the August trifecta I had a big six pass. 
And every year since then, I've picked up the season pass. I like the benefits that come with it, including being able to get in here uh, anytime I want to. Uh, and I also usually get season parking. This year, they've added a couple of new options, um, what they call a gold pass. Uh, it's the season pass with extra benefits. They've also created something else called a membership. Basically, it's the same thing, except instead of paying for, you know, everything all at once, you pay a much smaller monthly fee, um, monthly deal and that sort of thing, but it has the added benefit that it doesn't expire. For me, that's a big benefit. If I ever wanted to go to San Japan, for example, I, I could go down there and go to Fiesta, Texas, and I wouldn't have to worry about it. My uh, season pass car would be good there, and the parking would be covered. It's free with, with the gold membership, so, you know. It's definitely a nice addition to the, to the list of options. again off again threat of rain and the high winds keeping some of the rides closed. I've really had a lot of fun but it is 1.30 and I can check into my hotel for some at 2 so I need to head that way. Uh, check in at the convention starts at 3 and if you recall last year you get there late enough you may be lucky to get in <laughs> you know that day and I don't want to have to wait in line again you know so, we're going to get this thing started. I'll take the access road whenever I come back. I can't see it, but I can feel it. It's right in front of me, somewhere beyond this big orange truck. <laughs> the Anatole. Left turn must turn left, but is it like a two turn? <laughs> I didn't expect that. <sighs> Yeah, this is one of the actual problems with uh, Akon being hosted at the Anatole. Last year there were nearly 22,000 people in attendance. The Anatole doesn't have that much parking space <laughs> in its primary lot. So they've got a number of overflow lots now apparently open. Uh, I'm actually parked in a place I've never parked before. Uh, and the only reason I'm there is because there's a sign over there that says it's event parking. So yeah, remember how at uh, QuakeCon last year, the first, so, first come, first serve line wound into another uh, wing of the hotel? Yeah, same thing, except it's the uh, pre-reg line. the on-site folks. Uh, more importantly, I can see around the corner now. Okay, so we finally made it to what is basically the actual line uh, inside the exhibit hall. It's not too bad. I'm a little tired. 
750 at night. Good to go. If it seems like I'm talking really quiet, it's because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm slightly losing my voice. <laughs> Starting to get my uh, feeling back in my legs. But, uh, I had to get something else. I gotta. I need cold and I need wet. I'd say more, but like I said earlier, I'm tired out to the point that I'm not really talking loud enough to be heard on the camera. And. Uh, I'm not even getting the camera out for some things. So. The guys from Team Four Star and Randy Four, uh, Taco Hot 101, all those guys woke up a minute ago and it's like, huh, that's a thing. And now I want a slushy. <laughs> so, I might be just a little bit worn out. about 1041 at least I, uh, I found an empty spot a little bit closer than yesterday so so the grand ballroom is off behind me that's actually going to be one of the bigger uh, events uh, one of the bigger showcases for some of the uh, activities. Uh, that's traditionally where the uh, main stage is for QuakeCon, so I pretty much expect that here too. There's actually a map posted in several places around here, including just one just over here with listings of where everything is, so that's quite useful. There's also uh, the Media Bar and Grill directly behind me, and I'm gonna eat. So the Media Bar and Grill is one of the restaurants they have here at the hotel, and so far, I've enjoyed it. I just finished my soup and I'm actually waiting for the main course now. I, the steaks they have sound wonderful, but I really wanted a hamburger, and they have like a selection of four or five different types of hamburgers, so I'm quite happy. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Yeah, one of the big uh, drawbacks in previous years is that the uh, gaming facilities were kind of limited. That's why they ultimately moved so much over to the uh, to the Marriott and the uh, Plaza of the Americas. They needed the space. Well, the room I'm standing in right now isn't even remotely close to being full and they're still setting stuff up. There is a lot of opportunity here. Just And this is just, just uh, the console gaming and the, uh, the battle pods. admit, as I'm going down the hall looking at the, the different parts of the convention, I'm actually finding my way through parts of the hotel I've never been to before, even all the years that I've been going to QuakeCon here, so there's definitely a lot more space.
Okay, so I've uh, just got out of one of the panels and I'm still got a oh, good three hours before I have to get in line for the next, at least, uh, which will be the welcoming ceremony. So I've just stopped to uh, grab a couple of cold uh, sweet treats. what the uh, BYOC looks like when it's not a BYOC. Basically they've split up this part of the building, the exhibition hall, um, back that way is the, um, the dealer area. And then farther forward is um, the exhibit area. So it's all the different like companies that are represented. Funimation's got a booth over there. And uh, well, there's quite a few. Waiting for the opening ceremonies, I've been working on some icons for LPU.
So today's Saturday, and among other things, Saturday's usually the busiest day. So today's the day that the parking situation's going to get grossly out of hand. So yeah, the basic idea in this part of the building is the food court, you know, really. Um, and then these few extra items. Uh, I rarely go into the manga library in this just because I don't have time. Uh, it's an opportunity for people to go in. They've got chairs set up and everything. Just go in and read um, the art show. Chance to go in and see what people have done. So there's, there's actually a lot more going on than I usually show. And it's, it's partly because there's some things I just can't get into with the camera, you know, I don't want to risk, you know, do, recording something I shouldn't. Um, or, I'm just too busy. I mean, the fact of the matter is, there's panels going on right now, and there's going to be panels going on all day. Um, you just kind of choose what you want to focus on most. panel is somewhere over that direction in that ballroom and the line is slowly swallowing up the food court nothing could go wrong the hard part. <laughs> they want us, because we're here so early, to sit down in the line and basically save our energy. That's easier said than done for someone my size. <laughs> Especially trying not to take up a lot of space. <laughs> I'm doing what I can. <laughs> Uh, I 
kind of wanted to do a Dragon Ball Z abridged. And so I sat there for a second and I thought, you know, with your editing skills, this would probably be pretty cool. We can like try to, you know, collect a whole bunch of people from all the other stuff, you know, Berserk Abridge, all of like Naruto Abridge, all the stuff that was going on at the time. Uh, at the moment, we weren't talking to that gentleman at the end of the table, but that happened eventually. <laughs> so, you know, after he stopped being such a snob, <laughs> after, after he cut out all the animosity, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, uh, so I came to the conclusion, yes, but on two conditions. I'm on the writing team and I get to play Vegeta. And that was that. And here we are, five years later. Five years yesterday, too. Pretty much. Wow. Oh, wow. Happy anniversary. You're too late! <laughs> I'd just like a moment for all the people who on the team who couldn't be here this weekend. Pagami33, the voice of Poir. Bulma and Chao Tzu. Masako X, the voice of Goku and Gohan. Gampus, the voice of Dodoria, Captain Ginyu, and he will be Hercule in Season 3. Who? And Fish. No, 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 who's he playing? Hercule. Mr. Satan. Mr. Satan. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> Smart! My arm hurts now. <laughs> six or seven episodes to get one just because there are times when they're standing across a lake from each other just thinking and posturing and flashing back to things that had happened 30 seconds ago which was them standing across from each other at a lake. <laughs> I like Kai better. I always look forward to the new episode. I mean, we're not telling you when it's coming out. <laughs> Not even if I tell another dick joke? <laughs> it would have to be a huge dick joke. <laughs> but that would be a long story. Basically everything's done for the night, um, except for the dance, which goes until like 3 a.m. Uh, and then um, a couple of the viewing rooms. Uh, Anime Hell is going to go on for a while, and uh, the Crunchyroll lineup will be going on all night. Uh, and then there's a, a couple of panels that haven't quite finished yet. I say that actually they might have. <laughs> I can't remember if any of them goes till 2:15 or not. But uh, basically, I'm just going to go check out the, uh, the viewing room lineups and then head on back to my hotel for the night. Alright, so I parked in yet another lot today. Uh, this one very clearly marked by uh, Anatole signs. 
as being a part of event parking. So uh, what apparently happened in at least some capacity yesterday is somebody misdirecting people to park their cars in uh, county parking lots and uh, other such places that would be tollway zones. This is all pretty ridiculous and th that's one of the big real drawbacks that, that has come up with this convention is just the parking situation. Sometime yesterday they had to cap uh, the dealer room because there were too many people inside. I think this is their solution, a really long line. That uh, uh, basics of comicking three. That's just not going to happen. That panel's gone. <laughs> It'll take me longer than than that just to get back to the main entrance. I'm at the back right now. in the uh, artist alley up against the wall I'm down <laughs> it's gonna take me a minute to recharge spend any time outside uh, at all <laughs> at this convention but they have had a grill out here uh, same as uh, the food court you buy tickets and then you go over and get what you want um, and obviously a bunch of picnic tables set up and right now um, to help alleviate the stress in the uh, exhibition center they've uh, <laughs> started redirecting all exits out onto this uh, park here so that uh, frankly everybody gets out okay so I got in line for the cold read yeah, I don't know what the hell is going on short version is I have basically lost my place in this line like three times now the end of the line is back that way of those people are behind us. But this is the Acorn 24 Cold Read! <laughs> bless the scripts, bless the scripts, bless the, bless the scripts. You have a golden lasso. It makes individuals tell the truth. <laughs> no, no, no. I prefer lies. Lie to me, big boy. <laughs> I'm
the bus next year. <laughs> <laughs> OMG. I'd say it's about even zero percent. I don't think so. But if you get a TV show, I'm sure that percentage might go up. I've got a TV show played Dr. Huxtable for many years. Where is the sample? Where did I got from the 12th part book I do? I see. And what hard work is that? So now we have Irish. <laughs> It's always a sad time of year, but we've come to the end. Uh, I spent the last couple of minutes watching the last Anna Pay in the last viewing room. I've had a great trip. This has been a lot of fun. And I certainly look forward to the next year. But right now, I'm looking forward to QuakeCon.
One big concern I have, parking. 